Yo, yo, what's up, man? I'm right by this tree, man. Can y'all see me good? I'm right behind this tree, right? Who that right there? Dallas Harris, what's up, man? Hit that life button, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Red light on. Red light on. Get my coffee right. No sugar in the coffee. Hit that like, hit that, hit that life button, man. Hit the button. Hit the life button. Y'all want to give a shout out to my man Stacy out there in Ohio. I want to shout out all the people, man, that reached out to me and uh, you know shared their stories with me about their successes and their failures and trading options. Who that right there? AES Corpus, yo Juan, what's up, man? Thank you for your channel membership. And, uh, you know, who shared with me their, their losses and their wins in the options game. So I want to just tell you a little bit, man. I got introduced to trading options. Make, you, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. And go on my website and get one of these hoodies, man. The link is underneath the building. Uh, underneath, I said the building. The link is underneath the video. Around 2012, um, after the feds had raided my office, the feds came to my office in 2011. And after the feds came, I saw my business drop off by about 50%. About half of my clients stopped coming. So, um, how did I run into that thing, man? I don't know. Somebody mentioned to me about trading options. So I went online and I looked up a course. I want to thank those eight people. What's up, Vaughn? Shout out to my nigga Vaughn. Vaughn, thank you for your uh, sharing your story with me. You're going to get that 10 grand back. Just take your time and be patient. It's no rush. Um, so I go online and I look up this. How did I find that place? Anyway, I found this uh, options course that was held in the NYMEX building where they trade crude oil right over there in Manhattan. And um, so I go over there and I take the course and I learn how to trade options. And that's where my journey began. And um, you know, options is very, very uh, risky financial instrument. You can control a lot of stock with a smaller amount of money, a smaller amount of money by using options. Y'all see the snow? The snow. Snow. So I went over and um, took the course, and then I just started trading. And uh, I've made a lot of money trading options, and I've lost a lot of money trading options. It's it, it's that's the that's the game. If you're gonna invest, if you're gonna be um, an investor, whether you're investing in stocks, whether you a futures trader, whether you're a commodities trader, whether you're a currencies trader, a forex trader, an options trader, uh, an 
ETFs trader, Bitcoin, Ethereum. If you are going to be involved in that game, you are gonna have some successes and you are gonna have some failures. Both of them come with this game. Nobody wins every single trade they put on as a winner. That's not, if anybody is telling you that, and when I see these dudes that, that I see them on their Instagram and their, uh, um, and, and you know, it's like ESPN, right? All they show is their highlights, right? You know, it's like Little Sean's baseball Instagram, right? It's one thing about me, I show my successes and I show my failures, right? Totally transparent, totally transparent. And I do the same thing on Little Sean's Instagram for his baseball. I show his strikeouts, I show his home run, I show him giving up a home run pitching, and I show him striking out eight batters because that is the nature of the game. That's the nature of life, right? Successes and failures. Most dudes that got these Instagrams and, and, and uh, you know, whether they play basketball or football or baseball, they not showing their ground outs with a man on third, right? And they didn't get the RBI in. They not showing when they fumble. They not showing when they fumble, right? On the six yard line and the team was down by five and they was going in and they fumbled and lost the game. They don't, they don't show when they throw an interception, right? They don't show when they on the free throw line and the game, they down by one and there's 0.3 seconds on the clock and they got two free throws and they miss them both. They don't show that. All they show is their highlights, right? Which ain't real. So I had went over and um, the guy that taught me options, it was a couple guys. One guy was a market maker. Uh, he was an options market maker at the CBOE, the Chicago Board of Options in Chicago. And um, the other guy that owned the course, uh, he was a futures trader. He mostly traded futures. But these guys were, uh, were, were, were very, very smart and I learned a lot, and I was able to take what I learned and apply it, right? And, um, you know, when I started out, when I started out, like anything new that I start out at, or that anybody starts out at, you're not that good at it, right? So it takes, the, the, the losses is how you learn, right? The wins is how you learn, both of them. You learn both ways. But it's the, it's the defeats that teach the most, right? Because what did Muhammad Ali say? You know, I learned, mo I learned more from my greatest defeats. I learned more from my greatest defeats than I did from my greatest victories, right? And, um, you know, one of the things I did when I went to prison, I had a friend of mine send me in uh, the book by Lawrence McMillan. It's called Options as a Strategic Investment. And I studied that book. I studied that book the entire time I was in there. And, um, you know, just worked on, worked on my game, right? Just worked on my options trading, worked on strategies, you know, how to do verticals, how to do vertical spreads, how to sell bull spreads, how to sell call spreads, um, you know, how to do calendar spreads, butterflies, iron condors, and, you know, I used that time when I was in there to, 
to prepare myself for when, you know, I got out and I got the chance to trade. And, uh, you know, that's what I do. You know, um, I traded some this morning. Uh, I made money today. And, uh, you know, I'm coming back from a big loss. I figured I lost probably about, I had put in 25,000 in that account. I ran it up to probably about 60, 60,000. Then I took out, I took out roughly about, uh, maybe 15,000, paid down some credit cards. I had, I owed somebody 10 grand. I paid them uh, eight and, uh, you know, I paid some people that I owe. So, you know, I just didn't, like, didn't do anything with the money. And one thing I learned, this is what he told me. This is what, this is what I learned about trading. Whether you're trading, whatever you're trading, options, futures, commodities, currencies, wheat, soy, corn, gold, metals, whatever you trade in forex the guy told me this because what i would do he said he said sean when you win you gotta take money out of the account so that you know that this is real money because if you if you just trade and you just constantly watch your paper profits and you watch, you know, your account size, you can kind of lose the reality that this is real money, right? So he says, Sean, when you put on trades and you win, take money out, right? Pay a bill, pay some bills. So this way you know that this is real money that you're playing with. This isn't no, this isn't no video game. I use uh, TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Eddie Kane, you always wanted to get into it. I want to thank all seven, all the twenty six people for uh, hitting that like button for me. So that's what I began to do. That's what I began to do. And and um, you know, if you're trading and you're making money, take money out of the account take money out and use it don't just let it all stay in there much respect to all you day traders i wouldn't be able to sleep at night i have more peace sticking to more conservative investments that's cool um so you know that's how i got that's how i got involved you know and i've been trading options ever since i never stopped i've been trading was 2000 i've been trading about 11 years you know sean it's like a secret nobody wants to share any game but you i got nothing nothing to hide man nothing you know what i'm saying um a lot of people reached out to me and and uh you know, they said they appreciated the video I put up when I say I lost 39,000, they appreciated it because they had lost and some are making money. Um, you know, I made money too, you know, I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm decent. I'm a decent options trader. I don't, all my trades aren't winners and all my trades aren't losers. Um, what I do is I trade mostly on technical analysis. I mostly trade on charts and technical analysis and, you know, sentiment. And I watch the, uh, I watch the futures, the indices, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the E-minis, the NASDAQ minis, and the Dow minis. And, um, you know, I mostly trade the Russell 2000 though. I most, that's usually what I trade mostly on the options is the IWM. 
It's an ETF based off the Russell 2000. Um, but, you know, one thing, see, people say, Sean, it's risky. You know, investing is risky. Trading is risky. Options are risky. And you're right. But the question comes down to what kind of life are you trying to live? And that's going to be different for everybody, right? What kind of life are you trying to create? Me, personally, me, Sean G. I'm creating a life of freedom, a life of wealth, because with wealth comes more choices and more freedom. I want to own my own time, which I do. I have the YouTube. I got the merch site. Um, I got another little side hustle that I do. And um, if you're going to live this life, if I'm going to live this life and I want to live a life that I just described of financial peace, financial security, opportunity, expanded choices, then you got to take risk. Then you got to take risk. There's no other way. There's no other way unless you steal it. I trade weekly expirations, never zero, except maybe Fridays with Tesla, super tight stops though. Seven, seven figures. I see you, baby. Holding leaps on and you with the strike of ten dollars expiring 2026 also interested in zero strike 625 experts seven figures how you get started i use we bull trading stop options they give free stocks for 100 free hey sean how are your allergies my allergies are good i ain't got no allergies right now um You know, if you're going to work, and, and this isn't for everybody, if you're going to work a job, which is fine, then you have to accept that there's a limited, your income is limited. Your income is limited to whatever your salary is, whatever your hourly wage is. That's where you're limited. And that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then you can't expect to ever put yourself in a position to where you are going to have, and I want to say this the right way, you know, the nicer things in life. And when I say the nicer things, I mean material, yes and the options and the choices and the freedoms that come with financial independence. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what investing does. Investing gives you financial independence. Even if you take your money and you invest in a piece of real estate, there's still a, a chance of risk. Every real estate deal is not a guaranteed money maker. You know, nothing is guaranteed. Nothing. Nothing is guaranteed. No type of investment is guaranteed. You put your money in a 401k, you put your money in a retirement plan with these jobs, you go to human resources, you fill out the 401k and they 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 give you this pamphlet and it's the the Vanguard or the BlackRock aggressive 3-2-P fund or the State Street uh, 
semi-aggressive Apollo fund, you know, and what you're doing is you're taking your money, your check, they're taking money off the top, right? And putting it in this 401k for these big Wall Street firms to manage in hopes that you make a return. Ain't no guarantee with that. All it takes, and this has happened several times, this has happened several times where people have said my 401k, I lost half the value of my 401k when there was a downturn in the economy in 2008 when the when the credit markets froze up. People lost, you know, half their money in their 401k, which they said was safe, you know? You do what you want. I don't care what you do. And I'm not up here being a proponent for you to tell you what to do. You do what you want. I'm just telling you about me and what I do to invest my money and, and how I live my life. Uh, you know, I'm a risk taker. I've been a risk taker all my life. And it's gotten me, I have a good life. I have a good life. And um, I understood. I remember when I was a golf caddy. I was a golf caddy. I was 16 or 17 when I started caddying. I was caddying at the, at the golf course. And I used to caddy for a lot of stockbrokers. And that turned me on. I used to watch him. I used to I used to watch him. And they were they were exciting. And then that was in the eighties. In the eighties, the stock market used to be on Wall Street. They used to trade in the pit, you know. And that was just exciting to me. I wanted to do that from the very beginning. And then I saw the money that these guys had you know they look like money i used to caddy for them every weekend and i said yo i want to do that and i've always wanted to do it i could never work on wall street because i caught a felony in 1992 and once you y'all hear the seagull once you catch a felony you can't work for a bank hit that life button y'all hit that life button um so I could never work on uh, Wall Street. But but today, with the advent of technology, you can trade, you can download a platform right to your PC. You can down trade from your phone. You know, it's just so easy to be in real time trading with the world, you know? And, um, That's it. So anything you do in life, you know, if you to play it safe type, that's cool. But if you want to get ahead, you want to, you know, you want to, you want to increase your financial net worth and increase your financial position, you got to invest right or sell cocaine or sell drugs and i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that you know what i'm saying i'm not taking no penitentiary chances jita what's up i'm not selling no keys i'm not doing nothing in the drug game i did the drug game in the 80s and 90s and i lost i'm not doing no scamming i'm not doing no fraud I'm not doing nothing to put myself in a position to where I can go to prison. That I'm not going to do. You understand? You know, I can make, I'm going to make this money. I'm going to make this money. I'm going to make this money. Guaranteed. Before I die. Got to have it. Got to have it. Gotta have it, you know? 
I gotta have it. Just gotta work on my patience a little bit more and stop trying to rush, thinking I gotta get rich overnight. You know, that's my biggest problem is I, I think I gotta get rich by Thursday instead of just saying, Sean, give yourself a year. Give yourself a year to make 50 grand, right? Give yourself a year to make 25 grand. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself a year to maybe make a hundred grand. So, that's what it is. What's up with everybody, man? What y'all doing, man? You could be a real one without being a criminal. I learned that the hard way. Now I just live a real life. Trudeau's magic lamp. Yeah, I'm not doing no crimes. I'm not doing no crimes. Nope. Nope. I'm going to do my YouTube. I'm going to sell my books, my shirts. I'm going to trade. And I got my other hustle. And with that, I'm going to make it. It's going to take me a little while. You know? Because I've done it already. I've made... I've made... On one trade, on one trade, I never will forget this. I made $539,000 overnight in one night. I bought 45 puts. I bought 45 naked puts on Priceline. This was in 2012 or 2013. All of the travel sites, something was going on in 2012, 2013. This was right after the um, economic crash. And all the airlines were down. All the hotels, vacancy was down. Just the whole travel industry was down. And I saw Priceline was going to do their earnings call that night. And I said, yo, Priceline, it's got to fall. It's got to fall tonight. And I bought 45 contracts. I took $80,000. It cost me about 80 grand. This is a true story. It cost me about 80 grand. I bought 45 contracts. Priceline reported earnings they missed and the stock dropped like about $100. When I woke up the next morning, I was up $539,000. When the market opened, I closed the trade and I, and I made that money. Yeah, that's a true story. That's a true story. But let me say this, I would never do that today. The reason I did that, I mean, there was some logic to it, but it's too risky. I don't, I don't trade earnings releases. I don't trade major events. I don't, I don't, if, if the Fed, if, if, if Jerome Powell is getting ready to speak and they get ready to release the FOMC minutes, I go flat. I don't trade um, earnings releases because that's like that's like gambling to me because you never know. The company could come out, they could miss on revenue, miss on profit, and the stock could go up. Or the company can come out, they can they can increase revenue, increase prop, prop, EPS, give good guidance, and the stock goes down. So I just wait, you know, I don't, I don't do that. But I did it that time and, and it worked out. Um, so, you know, there's money to be made, um, you know, to anybody. I just tell you to be careful, don't, I'm not no type of advisor. I'm not no type of teacher. Don't take nothing that I'm telling you right now. Let me qualify. Don't take nothing that I'm telling you right now 
and listen to nothing I say because I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have a Series 7. I'm an independent trader of my own account. I trade my own money, you know? So that's, that's the crux of it. Yeah. So that's how I got, that's how I got, um, and see when I went to prison, right? Check this out. Check this out. When I went to the feds, the majority, Gina, thank you for that super chat. Karen, what's up? Bitcoin is up. If you invested in, in crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, any investment is going to be a risk. Shout out to those that got Bitcoin. It's, I think it's up like 44000 But when I got to the joint, when I got to the feds, definitely more than 50% of the inmates were studying trading. Definitely more than 50%. And I, was, I would say upwards to like maybe 70% of all the inmates were studying trading. Either they were studying uh, currencies, forex, commodities, metals, options, stocks, futures, everybody, everybody. Buying a hoodie soon, appreciate you, Kim. And I met a dude in there, man. I met a guy in there. I met a guy in there. And everybody was doing classes, trading classes, and you know, it was it was a pretty interesting experience. But I met a dude in there who was trading futures and commodities from inside prison. And he had developed the system and he was he was a winning trader he was winning two out of three trades he was winning two out of two out of three trades this is my man i talked to him he's still in contact today and i watched this guy and um you know we used to just talk every day all we talked about was the market all we talked about Mariano, what's up? All we talked about was was trading in, in the market. And I learned so much from this guy, man. I learned a lot. This is my nigga Black, man. I learned a lot from Black, man. And, uh, you know, he got out. He's doing some trading. Um, you know, and to the people, man, you know, if you've blown up your account, don't be ashamed that you've blown up your account. Everybody blows up their account at one point or another. I've blown up my account so many times I can't even count, you know? Uh, but I've made money too, you know? But what I'm doing this time is I'm gonna be more consistent and take my time and be patient. Take my time and be patient. It's cold out here. Yep. That's how I go. Yeah, man. Everybody was into that. And then we had where I was at. It was a lot of white collar dudes. It was a lot of stockbrokers there. Serving time. You know, it was a lot of Wall Street dudes. A lot of bankers in the feds as inmates serving time. So they would be in there teaching classes and Everybody talked about it, man, you know? And uh, so I think what's appealing to a lot of people is that you can do it without the, you know, you can trade today if you wanted to without a long drawn out red tape process, you know? But yeah, let me get in this car, man, cause it's cold out here. Man. 
We get in this car, man. It's cold out here, man. Ah! Woo! Cold, baby. Cold, baby. Turn the heat on in this joint. Turn the heat on in this joint. I got my laundry in the back. I got my laundry in the back. I had to go get me some shower. I had to go get me some uh, shower liners. Yep. What's up with y'all, man? Cool. So yeah, man. That's the. That's how I got involved, man. That's how I got involved in trading, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. And go on my website and buy something, man. I'm in Jersey, man. I'm in Jersey. What's up with everybody, man? Anybody got any questions? Somebody throw a topic up there. I just got my hoodie out the cleaner. This hoodie's shining, ain't it? I got it. I put it in the cleaners. If you get one of these hoodies, don't wash it. Put it in the cleaners, man. Put it in the cleaners. Put it in the cleaners. Yo, Juan, you still in there? AES Corpus, yo, Juan, you still in there? Can y'all see me clear? Which is my park interviews? Damn, they had a shooting in Texas? What happened in Texas, man? Some of the park interviews. Yeah, I got some of my release. I put up one today. Well, I put up the one with Ilyas. He did the muscle ups. I got a whole bunch of them lined up. Tips for hard gainers. What's a hard gain? I don't know what a hard gainer is. What's a hard gain? Can y'all see me clear? Is the picture clear? Is the picture clear? Sean G, what's good? Your thoughts on Crip Mac getting arrested by the feds? I don't know. I didn't hear nothing about that. You talking about for people that, uh, I need to call China Mac. Let me see if I can get China Mac on the phone. Let me call China Mac. Hold on. 
Y'all want y'all 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 want to see if I can get chatter? Like difficulties gaining muscle. You just gotta keep working, man. How how old are you? How old are you and um? How old are you and where where you uh? John Pete, patience is key when trading. Patience, man. Which ain't one of my strong suits. I'm not a very patient man, and I'm trying to rush the process. But I'm a winning trader. I'm a winning trader. Like I told you, I put that 25 grand in there, I ran it up to 60. I ran that shit up to 60,000 in like two months. But I just, I once I get, start winning and winning, now I wanna take it, I wanna take the 60 and put it on 600. And that's the wrong mindset. The mindset should be, you got 60, now just put it on 64, right? You get 64, now let's put it on 67. You know, and just and just take your time. Take my time. You should try to use a funded account, OG. Somebody was telling me about that. My nigga Black was telling me about that as a matter of fact. Let me see if I can get China Mac on the phone. Let's see. Please leave your message for three, four. I got to ask him if he want me to, um. Please leave your message for three, four, seven. He didn't pick up. I'm going to try him again. What happened to Crip Mac? Yeah, I didn't hear nothing about, uh, he got arrested by the feds. Kieran Kennedy, I have to trick myself into patience with games. Like I'm, like I'm mini trying to beat a level. Yeah. <clears throat> Stop losses is a great tool. Yup. What did Crip Mac get arrested by the feds for, man? Rip Mac on falling out with China Mac and going back to jail from jail soon. Find someone unexpected on Bumble. Download today. Yeah, I don't know about it. I, I don't I don't really follow him. How do you feel about the fact that I've seen fucking on Reddit? What? I seen they leaked the video of you on OnlyFans with old girl a while back. That fish cut. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I don't. I don't really follow him, so I don't know much about him. Eric Brown, what's up, baby? SL is a tool, indeed. Yeah, stop losses is a tool. Eric Brown, what's up, man? Thank you for your channel membership. I appreciate you, man. I want to thank all my channel members, man, for uh, showing me the support. The channel is growing. I just hit 16,000 subscribers. Um, I appreciate y'all, man.
Kieran, Crip Mac hangs in the world of buffoons, no need to follow them. <coughs> Thank you too, Eric. Listen, man, you gotta, it's gonna take time, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you, if you're 26 years old and you're trying to gain weight and you can't, you gotta up your calories and up your carbs and up your protein and up your reps. You, you gotta just up and you gotta give it time. You gotta be patient. You know, you're not going to look like these guys that come on my channel. I've been working out for nine years, man. I've been working out for nine years. And that's why I got the physique that I got. This is nine years in the making of dedication, you know, being dedicated. You got to dedicate. It's not going to happen. I was just talking about that patience. It's not going to happen in, in, in six months. It's not going to happen in one year. You know, it's going to take time, man. I want to thank all 61 people for hitting that life button for me. Appreciate you. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, I yeah. forgot her name. It's tonight. But I watched you, Piper. I was just at Disneyland, so I'm thinking about Mickey. Disneyland. Mickey Mountain. You went to Disneyland? Went to Disneyland recently. Yeah, I went with Chinaman because I never oh. went when I was a baby because Mama be able to have money to take us to that motherfucker. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. Cool. I mean, it's it something to do. I gotta take you to the Bippity Boppity Boutique. I'm gonna go to no. Sh that sounds like that. It's uh, my daughter got a dress there for her birthday. Oh well, I thought babies could go there. <laughs> when my baby, my daughter's born, I'll take her there. You got a hug. Let me see, Khaled. I'm up about two thousand pounds trading forex right now i told you my son will be the youngest trader ever i'm 20 years old my son is still not born congratulations on that Colin. enjoy the journey of reaching enjoy the journey of reaching your goals life is a marathon not a sprint judah i see you man trading is only for the strong um yeah man you know Life is success and failure. Life is both. Life is both. You know, and money money can be lost and 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 money can be gained. You know, your life, you lose your life, you can't get that back. Eric Brown, how long did it take you to master trading? I ain't no master, Eric. Don't put that on me. Don't put that on me. Anybody that says, there go my nigga Stacy right there. Stacy, I see you. Um, shout out to Stacy, man, for uh, reaching out to me the other day. I'm not no master trader, you know. What I do, though, Eric, I, I understand what I'm doing. Um, Howard Cooper, what up? Thank you for your channel membership. Eric, thank you for your channel membership. I got a set, I got about three stocks that I follow, right? The IWM, Tesla, and Apple. And those are the ones that I mostly trade, right? So I watch those every day. I look at their charts every day so that I can become immersed in their movements, right? In their support and resistance so that I can, using technical analysis, make the best possible trade of what I think is gonna happen. Whether it's selling a call spread or selling a put spread or going long with a call or going long with a put. But a master, nah, I ain't no master. I don't even want to give myself that title because the market, the market will humble you, man. It'll humble you. Appreciate 
that I've been failing for the past one and a half years, but kept at it. Now I'm two years deep, and I believe I'm where the light at the end of the tunnel is as far as in my trading career. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. You know? I win, I, I, I would say that on balance, I win more than I lose, but I have a I hold on to my losers too long. That's something that I gotta work on. That's one of my weaknesses. You could trade the spy. I don't I watch the spy. I watch the E minis. I watch um I watch the E minis. I don't I could trade the spy, I could trade the Q's. I find that I make higher profits and more money when my account is less than 10K. Yeah, I'm just the opposite. <coughs> the more money I have in my account, the better I trade. Because I could put on, I could put on uh, better positions. But I'm still making money now. I made money today. I made money today. Every day, just make a little bit more. I want to swing trade. I'm going to lay. All right, Eric. Cool. Let's do that. I swing trade too. Call it three stages in trading, losing, break even, and profit. But the thing is, is to be a profitable trader, right? A profitable trader means that you close more winners than losers right and you close your winners your winners you close more winners than your losers how much would be good to start with i don't know man it's up to you Does it not mean to be an overall profit? Yeah. A profitable trader, I mean, what I'm speaking about is like over time, you know? Because it doesn't take long to run up an account, man. You can run up an account if you're careful. You know, you can run up an account, man. I was watching on Tasty Trade, this guy ran up $2,500 to 200 grand in two years. So it's doable. It's definitely doable. You know? I'm going to do it. Y'all going to watch me do it. Y'all going to watch me do it. What's up? What's up, y'all? Talk to me. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. <clears throat> Share this video. Kieran Kennedy, Benjamin, no doubt. Just remember, most important is to eat and sleep. I eat everything in sight, about 4,000 calories a day for me to keep gaining weight. You might need less or more depending on your body.
because I've heard Mark Douglas speak about a trader in the 80s and 90s who had a 5% win rate, which means he was losing 95% of his trades, but at one point he was managing 400 million with only a 5% win rate. Mm. What are some of the side hustles that can be lucrative to get into? Vic DV, what's up, man? Stacy Harris, do you only pay taxes on profits after you liquidate your account? Well, it depends. At the end of the year, you're going to get a 1099B from whoever you trade from. And if you had a gain, then you're going to pay capital gains tax on your gain. But overall, on the yearly performance. So for the year, if you had an overall loss, then that's going to act as a tax shelter and shield your other income. It'll reduce your taxable income. And uh, I think it used to be up to $3,000. And then if you had losses over 3000 the remainder would carry over to the next year. So it would be a loss carry forward. But if you had a gain at the end of the year, if you had an overall gain, then you'll pay capital gains tax on your winnings for the year. Everybody hit that like button, man. So, yeah, man, that's all I wanted to talk about, man. Ah, that's a good idea. Christian Alexander looking to buy in an ATM. Was you close to a millionaire in the past? I was a millionaire. I wasn't close to it. I was one. I heard that Peter Schiff podcast today. He said they're trying to raise a tax on what you own in assets. A good side hustle with a startup cost that's not too high. Are you still interested in real estate? Um, no, nah, not really. I think real estate right now is like super risky. I know this might sound crazy, but I'm sure there's a way to not pay taxes on trading profits because you can send it through crypto. Okay. I don't know nothing about that right there, Khaled. That's on you. I don't want to promote that on my channel. You know, I went to prison for taxes, so I ain't trying to do nothing like that. Marvinu. Marvinu. I don't know. If I was buying a, if I was gonna buy something to live in, I might be interested. I don't think I would do something in Jersey though. I probably would go south and buy some land with it. You know. Raise me a farm. Start me a farm. Ride around media. What what are you traded in money management rules? Um be patient and um I got them written down at home. Be patient. Take your losers off. 
cut your losers. And the market's so volatile right now. I mean, even if like if I'm winning on a trade, you know, I use technical analysis. You know, sometimes I take. You know, because you can, the market can open up, you can be up on a trade. And with the volatility, you know, you can watch your paper profit turn into a loss. So I like to take my profits, man. <clears throat> Me personally. I like to take my profits. Mm-hmm. Today I saw that real estate value in dollars in the U.S. went up 40 percent since 2020. Well, that's gonna that's that happens as a result of printing more money, right? That's that's why we got inflation. You have so much money chasing few assets, so that's why the property taxes. I mean, that's why the values went up. You know, I don't know. It just seems scary to me with the with the job situation, the employment situation, the way that it is. Um, it just you know, real estate to me is just as risky because you can buy an investment property, rent it out to somebody, they lose their job. Now they're not paying the rent. It takes you six months to take them to court to get them evicted. No rent is coming in, but you're still paying the real estate taxes. You're still paying the insurance. You're still paying the mortgage. But it's an it's a risk. It's an investment like everything else. But as a former tax consultant, do people ever get away with evading taxes? I don't know. I don't know what nobody else does. I don't evade my taxes. I pay my taxes. Nah, no jobs is safe. And then the, what they're talking about now with artificial intelligence taking over a lot of these jobs. Elon Musk said that in three years, artificial intelligence will be smarter than the smartest human being. You know, you hear things like artificial intelligence is going to take over 80 percent of the jobs. What are people going to do? What are, what is the human being going to do? OTG Dave two time OTG Dave. Thank you for that super chat, man. Appreciate you. Join the channel membership, Dave. I appreciate you, man. Let me send let me put the link up there for Dave, man. Maybe he join the channel membership, man. Thank you for that super chat, though. Multiple people fix their back pain, lose weight, and build insane looking strength. Exactly what I do. Jersey Riss is we in trouble. One of a kind blueprint. Click the link below to get instant access now. If you want to have body mastery, I can help you transform your body and do press handstands. OTG stands Dave, they go to link, man. Faster than two shakes of a lamb's tail. Literally. OTG exactly. Dave, they go to link. For the channel exactly. membership. Anybody exactly. want to join the channel exactly. membership, man? There you go. A friend of mine, after seven years of medical of school, oh, a friend of mine, after seven years of medical school, has been fired for one minor indiscretion. He slept with one of his patients and was let go. Please pray for him. He is the best veterinarian I know. Tell him to hang in there, man. I got you. I appreciate you. I'm a young dude in my 20s. Been around for a minute. Want to show my appreciation. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, Dave. Two times.
still a lot of money to be made in blue collar work, plumbing, electric, HVAC, utilities, no fear of that. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely correct. Blue collar trades, blue collar trade jobs, healthcare should be all right. Nurses and, and uh, LPNs and patient care technicians, they should be all right because you, you need human beings to take care of patients. You need plumbers. You need uh, electrical workers, HVAC. Right. Blue collar might be the way to go. All these, you know, going to college and getting to college. I'm going to do another video on that. I'm going to do another video on that. Going to college and getting a college degree in 2024 with AI. Ask yourself. With the oncoming of artificial intelligence, as they say. How valuable is a college degree? Right? Yo, Dave, got that soul glow. Dave, thank you, man. OTG Dave. Yo, all my members, shout out OTG Dave, man. Got that soul glow. Thank you for joining the channel, Dave. I appreciate you, man. What y'all think about that, man? Getting a college degree now. Going to school, taking out massive amounts of loans. And artificial intelligence is on the rise and they're saying it's gonna take over 80%. I mean, what where where the fuck are the people gonna go? Where are people where what are they gonna do? That's why I know I'll always be able to trade. But in supermarkets, they got robots cleaning the floors. OTG Day, put a topic up there, OTG. Put a topic up there, man. Let's get busy on the topic. Alvaro Varema, salute, Sean. Always working here at my desktop, right? Writing some legal documents and hearing you in the background. Life button always. Hit that life button. Eric Brown, shout out to OTG Dave. Sean G is the best when it comes to this podcast thing. C nice. Thank you, C. Thank you, C. Marvin Lobo, yo, Sean, what's the longest you fasted for without food? And did you notice health or spiritual benefits? I went, I did a seven day juice fast last year. And I noticed benefits by like the third day. Mental clarity. Um, less jitters, more calm. And what I discovered was from that, was all of the food that I eat, because I eat a lot of meat. I eat a lot of steak, I eat a lot of beef, I eat pork, I eat chicken, I eat turkey. That whatever they're shooting that cow or that pig or that cow or that turkey or that chicken up with is impacting me um, and making me hyper. And I noticed that when I got off food and was just doing, doing straight juice, I was calm. I was calm. So those were some of the benefits and the spiritual clarity. When black people started to look down on blue collar jobs and thinking the college degree was the only way we started losing. How to be happy in life. OTG Dave two times how to be happy in life Dave man life I my answer would be doing what you love to do
waking up every morning and doing what you like doing to where what you're doing doesn't even seem like work to you. Having good people in your life, being at peace with yourself, having self-esteem, having self-confidence, having self-love, self-acceptance. These are all things that lead, money. These are all things that lead to happiness. These are things that all lead to happiness. My opinion, D. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. DKFL. Jewish thoughts demo trading is best for you if you're new, like you said, because you're almost guaranteed to lose that money. It could be the coffee too. It could be the coffee too. But even during the juice fast, <coughs> even when I do my juice fast, I still drink a lot of coffee on them days because coffee for me works as an appetite suppressant. So when I get hungry in the day, I drink a cup of coffee and it knocks down it knocks down my app my appetite. <laughs> Happiness can only be found inside oneself. Mastery of your own energy. Do not let your mastery get baited in the carnal realm. DKFL getting deep. Yep, having family close to you. Mr. G, I've been watching Steve Jobs interviews and I can't stop. He was the co-owner of Pixar. What a human being. Definitely became more motivated. Yeah. Steve Jobs got fired from his own company. He got fired from Apple. Then he started Pixar and then Apple bought Pixar and then he became the CEO of Apple again. See? Failure. He talks about it too. Steve Jobs says you got to be willing to crash and burn. It don't feel good when you lose. It don't feel good. You know, but that's that's life, man. You know what I'm saying? Play it safe. You know, that's the way that it go. That's the way that it go. OTG Dave, that was, you got, uh, what you think about that? Yep, when they fired him, when the board fired him, it started going down. And he didn't stop. He went and started a whole new company, Pixar. They say Bill, he, Steve Jobs said Bill Gates copied Bill Gates, Microsoft, DOS copied Apple. He said they, they just copied me. Toy Story, right, 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 right. That was him. Yep. 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 Look at my bed, man. I got the salt and pepper joint. OTG Dave. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all share the video. How many of y'all watched the video I, I put up of Paul the other day? Did 26 years in prison. Nigga Diesel. Cock Diesel. Them park interviews, classic, man. Them park interviews is classic, man. They all copy him. I do too. I do too. I do too, John Pete. Because if Steve Jobs would have been living, 
he never would be letting Bill Gates do what he's doing. Never. 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 Because Steve Jobs was into, he was a Hare Krishna. He was a Buddhist. He would have never let that go down. Eric Brown, classic joints. What do you think about Elon Musk exposing Disney? And doing what you love, doing it is really key. And get the courage after the fact. Now, those quote is that. Now, whose quote is that? The quote got me in great moments and advancements. Thank you, Sean. Vic, thank you, man. I was reading about Disney today. The treasurer from the state of South Carolina is divesting itself of all investments in Disney because of what Disney's doing. The Brawley Gaines interview was dope too, yeah. Which one, Eric? Because I did a couple of them with him. Yeah, yeah, I talked to Brawley. I talked when I talked to Brawley. I talked to him and Bam Bam probably about a month ago. We're going to do something together. He was on his way down to Atlanta to do a, um, a boot camp. I got to get him back on the channel. Do another interview with him. Shout out to Brawley Gaines, man. He was very spiritual and in tune to human nature for a better planet. Disney pushing that homosexual agenda, but Walt Disney was an alleged pedo. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, Raleigh, Raleigh doing his thing. I think he got like, he's closing in on 1.5. Them shorts, YouTube shorts, gets your channel to grow. Because I've been posting, I see I've been posting more shorts. And that gets your channel to grow. Somehow YouTube pushes, they pushing that because they want to compete with um, Instagram and FaceTime. Next time you in New York parks, you got to do an interview with Team Semi or Master Shredder. Anthony Cabello. <clears throat> OTG Dave, where you at, man? Shout out to all my members, man. Eric Brown. Nigga OTG Dave. Jita, where Jita at? Jita still here? Pharaoh Ramsey. What's up, Ramsey's? Shout out Sean G. Ain't caught up live in a hot minute. Arizona in the building. You're right. A lot of big YouTubers only do shorts now. D Disney built a hidden park underground full of miles. Yes, miles of tunnels he was planning on using for his pedo stuff. He passed before the park was finished. Hmm. Mr. What about that YouTuber, Mr. Beast? Did prison make me richer? Um, I think so. You know, my prison experience, I made my prison experience work for me. I didn't just go to prison and um, I didn't just go to prison and do nothing. I didn't go to prison and be depressed. I didn't go to prison and get involved in prison politics. I didn't go to prison and waste time. I made that entire time I was there, I made it work for me. So when I got out, <clears throat> I was in a better position mentally and spiritually than when I went in. I made that time work for me. 
So yeah, I got richer in that regard. You know, I, I forgave myself. That was probably the biggest thing that I was able to do. That was probably the biggest thing I was able to do was to forgive myself. And that, that, that freed me, that freed me, you know? And I have to keep forgiving myself, man, for the mistakes that I make. You know, even the mistake I just made with my trading account, you know? I'm, 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 my, I'm my most harsh critic. <laughs> I'm my toughest critic, man. Because I demand excellence from myself and um, I don't like making mistakes. Farrell Ramsey's at the barbershop. Real wealth is peace of mind and happiness as well as money. Ain't no question. Ain't no question. Nah, I don't do crypto. Nah. 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 Lee Turner, South Carolina in the building. Something, the big DM. Lee, thank you for your channel membership, man. Thank you for your channel membership. OGT Dave, look at them three birds right here. It's three birds that came right here by this, uh, by my window. They sitting on the fence. That must mean my spirit is good. When wild animals come near you, that means your energy is good because they, uh, animals work off of instinct. Do you speculate on foreign stocks outside of the U.S.? Nah, Cabello. Why did you stop the morning coffee motivation? You doing all right? Just came from the gym. Okay. I don't know. I wasn't getting a lot of views on the morning coffee motivation. I wasn't getting a lot of views. You know, I know a lot of a lot of people, but I, I put one up the other day. I've been getting more traction with my lives. My lives get more traction. Lee Turner, put a topic up there, Lee. Eric Brown, put a topic up there. Y'all got to join the channel membership. Yo, Stacy, join the channel membership, man. There you go, right there. That's the link to the channel membership. Let me see if I can get China Mac on the phone. Y'all want to talk to China Mac? Let me see if he pick up. Please leave your message for... Let me see if I get Freeway Rick on the phone. Let me, let me see if I call Rick. Um, nah, I ain't really got no plans, Lee. I'm just going to chill, relax. That's it. Just chill. 
Let's see. It. <coughs> yeah. That's it, man. I spent some time with Lil Sean. That's it. Yeah, Freeway Rick. What do you think about I Kill the MC, formerly known as Tupac? The twenty-five dollars in the minimum for unlimited day trades will get you caught up. No, it won't. No, it won't. Not me. Not me. That's the way I, that was where I made most of my money. When I had, my account was over 25 grand, I was able to have margin and round trip trade as much as I wanted to. Once a human starts talking crypto, Forex and that kind, of, I'm stopped following. But it's, you know, it's to each his own. If, if it doesn't work for you, that's fine. If it works for you, it may work for him, it may work for them. Yo, Sean, hope you're doing good. Where would you say I should start out if I want to learn how to trade? Um, I don't know, Caleb. Read some books, man. Caught up if you don't have the 25K. Okay. All right, I see what you're saying. Um, Paper trade first, man. You could paper trade, meaning that you could trade with fake money on these accounts. Open up an account with an uh, online broker and then paper trade. Lee Turner, thank you for the super chat, man. Appreciate you, man. And thank you for your channel membership, man. I appreciate you. Um, and practice paper trading. I took a $500 course last year on stock options. All right, cool, DJL. <laughs> yep, practice first, man. Lee Turner, what's up, man? What'd you do at the gym today? Lawrence Thomas, what's up, man? I got my homeboy, your Detroit in the building. Detroit in the building. What's up, Lawrence? Shout out to you, man. Yes, indeed. Trying a no meat diet for the holidays, work cardio. Okay. Ray Nino Barkey, what up? When I went on a meat diet, when I was just eating straight meat, I lost weight and got cut up. Lawrence, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for all your support, man. The cash apps, all of that, man. Appreciate you, man. Bring back the book club. You remember that? Stacy been on this channel a long time. Yep, I used to do Federal Prison Book Club. 
Put my uh, mouth wash out. Here you go. Did you see that sucker Lucky Kamathis comment, Sean? Comment on my on my channel? Lucky Kamathis. No, nah, I didn't see it. What'd he say? Now, what do you say? What was the comment? Smacking down my oatmeal. Now, nah, I don't take no days off. Mm -mm. I didn't work out. Yesterday was what? Tuesday? I didn't work out Monday. What did I work out Monday? No, I, I worked out, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I picked Sean up from school Friday, we worked out Friday, me and him worked out Saturday, we worked out Sunday, we worked out Monday, I worked out yesterday, he didn't work out because he had a basketball game, I ain't done nothing yet today, but I'll probably do some push-ups when I get home. No, I don't take no days off. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm taking no days off. Five days on, one day off. That's cool. How old are you, Lee? My nigga OGT Dave came through, joined the channel membership, and dipped out. Shout out to him, man. Thank him, man. 58. Okay, yeah. You still hitting the weights. Once a human starts talking about Forex and crypto, and he unsubscribes, which is free to do, but it's a sucker's mindset. Oh, that guy? That's his choice. 58, you, you, you lift weights, or you do just straight calisthenics? Here come a FedEx truck. And I'm standing right in the way. He's going to go around. <clears throat> yes, every other three. Every other three what? You lift weights? of showing G, self-love is not caring what another man does or doesn't do. You lift weights three times a week? I don't go to the gym. I just do all calisthenics at the park. Stick to the plan, man. Yeah, I ain't lifting no weights, man. I haven't lifted weights since probably about 2018, I would say. 2017, 2018, I stopped. I gotta go bleach my teeth. Guy Rogers, Sean, are you still using burpees? You got me doing them. That is the best exercise for full body exercise for me. I haven't done burpees in a while. I do 100 squats a night before bed. That's good money. Burpees is the truth. 
What's the importance of keeping your words to yourself first before to others? Well, it's good to keep your word. It, it, you you want to keep your word to yourself because that's integrity. Um, you know, and you keep yourself your word. If you keep your word with yourself, then you're gonna you ain't got to worry about keeping it to other people because what you tell, what you say, is gonna be your word. <laughs> so. But I recently uh, didn't do that, and it bothered me, man. But we're going to make it up. We're going to make it up. Guarantee. Which equals nothing. All right, y'all. That motherfucking fed look, man. Nigga got that fed look, man. Nigga got that fed look, man. All right, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. And I'll catch y'all later, man. That 24 fan look. Okay, nigga lean. Nigga lean. Where's everybody from, man? Put your city and state and your country up there, man, before we get up out of here. Where y'all from? Hit that life button, man. Vic DV, Buenos Aires, Argentina. My man always be on here from Argentina, man. Eritrea, okay. Africa, Newark, Switzerland, Flanders. South Carolina, Chile, Jersey Bricks, Baltimore, folks tripping on here. Folks tripping be hanging in the breeze, man. Hudson County, Chilltown, the Horn of Africa, that's right. Asmara, Somalia, Mogadishu, Asmara. I met some Eritreans in, in, in Cairo. When we was when I was flying to the Sudan, Croatia in the building, Zagreb, Basilius, Basile. Yeah, I met some uh, Eritreans when I was flying to Sudan and and uh, Cairo. Eritreans look like foundational Black Americans, man. They got like similar features. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, they had that fair look. They had it. All right, y'all. Let me get up out of here, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Jersey, I see you. From Jersey and Florida. All right, I see you down there. That good weather. All right, y'all. Peace. You too, Lee Turner. Thanks for coming through, man. And thank you for your channel membership, man.